Hello everyone, Storm101 here. Today we're going to have a quick update here. This is going to be probably going to be the last time we'll talk about this system here. We'll have my, pretty much my official snowfall forecast for the system as well. We'll also talk a little bit about severe weather as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the weather alerts right now. So these here are not issued not long ago. We do have winter weather advisories. So these are areas in the purple here, which includes portions of Tennessee, central and eastern Kentucky, to eventually central and western Ohio, and even portions of northern Ohio, and a few counties in uh, far western Virginia and a county. Well, actually, that's a county in uh, Tennessee there as well. The areas in the blue here, however, those are winter store watches. Here's what you can see. We got a couple counties up in northwestern Indiana, and also a county into southwestern Michigan. We got a few, and that winter storm watch right there is mainly for the Smoky Mountains, where those guys could possibly see a decent amount of snow out of that. And we also have winter storm watches in effect here. This is from the system, and as well as lake effect snow, kind of pretty much includes around Cleveland. And it kind of gets up close to Buffalo. Not quite into Buffalo, but it gets pretty close to those regions as well. It also includes Erie, Pennsylvania, which those guys can see probably some of the most snow than everybody else at this point here. But I do expect more advisories to get issued as well, and probably watches and warnings as well. So don't be surprised by that as well. I do expect more advisories to get issued. So let's take a look into the high risk dam now. This is something we've got to pay attention to, especially across Kentucky here. Now, this little pressure system right here is going to be probably going to be making its own cold air on the back side here. And you can see there, that could be some very hefty uh, snow there, very heavy snow in there as well. In areas that could get under one of these here, you could see probably a better chance of seeing a lot more snow than. Well, a lot of other people in your area. If you get under one of those things there, you can see very heavy snow at times, and that's something we gotta watch for. And those can really bring up the snowfall totals. Now, this model here does bring it back to rain, although I think it, the rest of it is probably gonna be mainly snow here. But you can see, then eventually, a lot of areas will be experiencing snow. I mean, look at that across Alabama. As far south as central Alabama, northern Georgia, even try to extend into portions of south central Georgia, which is crazy. Also, a couple of things to note is you've got a pretty good amount of lake effects so coming off from Lake Michigan. Snowfall amounts could, could be decently high there as well. Eventually, for the Tennessee Valley, the Lower Ohio Valley, the snow should be getting out of there by Tuesday afternoon or evening. And then should get it out of Ohio sometime Tuesday night there as well. And then that snow will start to move up across the northeast there as well. And also some lake effects that will also be continuing as well. So pretty much my official forecast right here. Don't really plan on to make too much of any more changes now. So let's go ahead and start off with some of the higher amounts. So we got one area from anywhere from Cleveland up into a little bit past Erie, Pennsylvania. There's well areas there could see possibly eight to a foot of snow. Some areas could see over a foot of snow, possibly across some of those regions as well. We got another area just south of Lake Michigan here. I eventually scoot this a little bit further to the northeast here. As well, it's also a little bit larger area as well, where some of those areas could see eight inches to maybe a foot of snow as well due to some lake effect snow action. Then areas of the dark blue, which also includes northern Indiana and also northern Ohio into portions of northwestern Pennsylvania, eventually get to southwestern New York. A couple more areas, the Smoky Mountains and also the mountains of West Virginia. Those areas could see five to eight inches of snow there as well. And we got a very large area here, this uh, second shade of blue here. These areas could see possibly three to five inches, but kind of when you get into West Virginia, south, what, southeastern Ohio, portions of Pennsylvania there, even into eastern Kentucky, keep in mind that how higher elevations could see three to five inches of snow. However, those lower elevations might not get to see that much as well. So just to keep in mind of that. 
And then we get to this light blue shade here, which includes uh, pretty much, a, we'll just say South Central Indiana, and eventually getting into a good chunk of Kentucky, back down into East Central Tennessee there. We also got another area across portions of Southern Michigan there, and also as well as Western New York and also Central Pennsylvania there as well. Those areas will likely see one to three inches of snow at this time here. Although, for areas across, you know, Kentucky and portions of Indiana, some areas may not get to see an inch of snow. The possibility is there, some of you guys can see an inch of snow, but we'll just put that to be safe there. Because for a lot of these regions in here, there could be a pretty large variety here. I mean, some areas could see may and only coating. Some areas not too far away could probably see three inches of snow, something like that. So definitely, you know, going to be a hard area to predict there as well. But we're just going to go with, you know, kind of general idea there. Now, areas in white, pretty much a coating to an inch of snow, which also includes West Central Kentucky, portions of Tennessee. And also, again, Western New York, and also Central Pennsylvania as well. And also, portions of Central and Eastern Michigan as well. I may expand this a little bit further east here as well with that coating to an inch of snow, but we'll see about that. But the main focus is really just the Ohio Valley in general, and that's the main area we'll be focusing there as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much the official forecast there for snowfall. Let's move on to the severe weather side of things really quick. So for the rest of tonight, we got a slight risk for severe weather across portions of the Gulf Coast states and also across portions of the Carolinas. Tornado threat will definitely be there. We can also see some damaging winds, but the hail threat, the large hail, won't be around there as well. Then day two, which is tomorrow, we got a slight risk for severe weather pretty much east or North Carolina there. Although I do expect this to get expanded a little bit further up to the north into right around Baltimore and probably Washington, D.C. as well. That area is looking to be pretty decently favorable for damage winds or tornadoes. You also got a marginal risk across uh, central Florida there as well. So, and even your marginal risk expands all the way up into Massachusetts there as well. So, pretty much keeping this forecast uh, for the most part the same here. It's not day three. This is day two, which is tomorrow. Pretty much keeping this forecast the same at this point here. I'll make probably make some small changes here and there. But overall, I may just going to keep this forecast pretty much just the same. That's just the general forecast there as well. But also to keep in mind, guys, a lot of these regions here, they can see severe weather even up across the northeast. Can't see some strong winds. Uh, we're talking about winds could potentially be gusting up to 50 miles an hour. And some isolated areas could see 55 miles an hour, but that's just pretty much isolated there as well. But anyways, guys, there's our for you guys today. Hope you guys did enjoy this uh, quick update video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you really do like my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications so you never miss an upload. If you guys have questions about this, you can put it in the comment section down below. I'll answer you guys' questions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.